wanna wake up from this dream It's our own reality Good morning, family. We're on our way. I ain't going nowhere if I don't put the car in drive. No, we're going to gymnastics. We're going to gymnastics. And Trey is going to listen. And he's going to be well behaved because you know why? Because that's my boy. Right, Trey? Mm -hmm. So we already had a talk. We talked last night. We talked this morning like twice. So um, he's going to be good. Yeah, so um, yeah, people drive Tesla. Why? Okay. Patooey. Patooey. Okay. Patooey. People drive Teslas around here like they like Honda Civics or something. I'm like, yo, what's the deal? Like, come on. I know they made a, a, a cheaper version, but still, $35,000 for a car is not exactly like cheap. You know what I'm saying? That's still like a at least a $400 car payment. That's even doing it for seven years. So yeah, everybody's got Tesla around here. Like, I want one too. I want a super fast electric car. Like, who doesn't want that? Y'all wake up and like the devil just jump, just peril something like, boop, right on your back early in the morning. Like, no. Be gone. Like, you're not going to ruin my entire day. It's like, I get up, and I had ordered some conditioner from Target. You're supposed to get, like, $5 gift cards for every, like, $12 you spend or something like that. So, I did that, and they charged me for all the, I was supposed to get, like, four or $5 gift cards, and they charged me for all the gift cards and the product. So I was like, okay, now I got to call them and fuss. Then I get a notice from my student loans. Like, oop, boo, we increasing your student loan payment. Boo, no, you're not. No, no, I rebuke it. And so, wow, you just going to pull right out in front of me, huh? I had to, like, call them this morning. And so when I talked to the lady, first of all, I hate, you know what? And from now on, I don't... You know what? I ain't going to say I ain't going to do it. Because, like, I was going to say whenever I get on the phone with student loan payment people and it's a person with an attitude, I'm going to have to hang up and call back again. But you end up waiting on the hold for, like, 10 minutes. So, I, of course, I get this lady that's got an attitude. Like, she had a bad day already. Usually people like that, I try to get them a pass, but she was getting on my nerves. And I was like, please just let me like get my little transaction done so I can get off the phone with her. Because she's clearly not wanting to answer the phones today. Yeah, 
I don't know what happened. And I, no, no, no. She didn't even say I don't know what happened. She was like, I'm going to put this back in with the people to see if they can review it to see why they did this. And I was like, okay, so do you know, like, if they took all of our loans into consideration? She was like, well, that's why I put a ticket in. So, yeah. I was like, so, yeah, you do know. Or, yeah, they took it into consideration. I'm, like, so confused. Like, and she's like, no, I don't know. I'm like, oh, great. So, you have a whole system where I have to give you my social, my birthday, and everything that's supposed to be so secure. You're supposed to be able to give me all this information about my account. But you don't know any more than I know. Great. Little review thing. She was like, I was like, okay, so am I gonna get a letter? Like, she wasn't gonna tell me any of this. I'm like, am I supposed to get like a letter or something saying what's gonna happen? Or who, who, who your boy talking to? Who you talking to like that? Mom said be quiet. No, Mama didn't say be quiet. Trey said be quiet. And who you think you talking to like that? Mommy be quiet now. And that's your mommy's. Anyway, and so I was like, y'all gonna send a letter or something? Edward, hush. No. Hush, or I'm gonna turn this car around and we're not going to gymnastics. Boo. So, um, hey, because she wasn't even gonna tell me. She was like, well, we should send a letter, but you should hear something in a couple weeks. Weeks? What? <sighs> Anyway, these people are infamous for messing my stuff up. Because the only reason I'm having to redo my paperwork now is because they messed it up in December. I don't know. Let me tell y'all something. I deal with all the bills in the house. Which I don't have a problem with. But, I hate being on the phone with, like, them. Student loan people. Credit card people. Uh, internet people, light bill people, any of them people. Like, I don't like talking to them. I don't want to talk to y'all. Like, that's why I automate all of our bills so they to come right out of our account. Don't call me. Don't talk to me. Okay? It's pay. Just leave me alone. And then stuff Mommy. like this come up, not once, but twice and once. We sure did. We sure did find gymnastics. I guess they moved it. We're at gymnastics. We actually here early because I had to put that car seat in because it was dirty. I took it in the house and I washed it. I put it together, the back together this morning, and I was like, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to put it in. But those latch systems actually work quick, except for the tightening in part, tightening in and tightening in part, because I had to actually sit in the car seat and tighten it up. But I know y'all like when y'all gonna face him forward. I don't know. Ed and I have talked about this. He's actually safer facing backward because, like, if you get into an accident, like, it's more likely, like, you go like this. So, like, he won't go like this. He'll go like this because he's back. So, it'll, like, the worst can happen to him would maybe, like, he break his leg. But that's a lot better than, like, a broken neck or a messed up spine or something like that. So... I'll probably keep him like that until he's four, depending on how long his legs get. But until then, I'm still going to just face him, rear face him. I mean, it's not hurting him or anything. I mean, what's the rush? Why do people rush to put their kids forward facing? Like, what's the point? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Because my mama gets on me every time that I am, that she's down. Like, why you still got him rear facing? But I don't understand what's the rush. It's almost like people feeding their kids baby food when they turn, when they little. And it's like, they four months old and you giving them baby food? That's so, like, what's the rush? My mama used to try to get me to rush to give Trey food. Trey didn't get solid food until he was like 13 months old. Other than that, it was just... It was just breast milk. I'm talking too much, y'all. I'll see y'all in gymnastics. No, no, no. I'll see y'all after gymnastics. Unless he does something cool and different today. Let me get this rude boy out of my car before I have to knock him out.
just walked to the grocery store because Trey was like, Mommy, I want some apples. And I was like, I don't have any apples. He's like, well, can we go to the grocery store and get some apples? I was like, okay, that just came out so good and plain. So I let him ride his bike to the grocery store. And we just got some apples, oranges, and a mango. Because that last mango we got was the bomb.com. So now we're going to go home and eat it. Yeah. Yes. camera right now though. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I was out there acting kind of silly. Really? We can tell. So we're eating our food. Trey has already told you that. We're having vegan. Well, I'll say vegetarian. Alfredo. With cutlets. And fettuccine noodles. Trey has his cutlets too. Trey just got off FaceTime with my mom and Kamari. And I'm in the process of doing my hair. I'm using a new product. I already don't like the way it smells. I might end up taking it back to salad before I finish it all. And Donald Trump just won Indiana. Like, who are these people voting for him? Like, who? Anyway, I'm going to eat my food. And I'll talk to y'all in a few minutes. <laughs> I'm putting the soap through through the uh, the food processor. I'm shredding it. 